Hi, I'm Dave Spies. I'm a DP, videographer, and editor, and a lot of people know me f for uh, my interest in lighting. So I just wanted to throw out here a kind of an inexpensive way to maybe add LED lighting to your to your repertoire. So what I have here is a lighting head which many of you are familiar with probably, uh, five Edison sockets. And basically this light is sold and designed as a light that, that could be used with fluorescent spiral tubes. And you get a nice cool light, daylight balance, it doesn't get real hot. The problem is that these things are really fragile and I've broken a few over the years and I'm not really, uh, don't get very excited about using spiral tubes like this. But today's LED lights that you can buy in a hardware store, a daylight balance bulb that's maybe 75 watts or 100 watts might be the way to go, I think. Um, the lights are cool. It gets a little hot in the center here, but it's not so hot that you can't actually touch it. Um, Five, five of these at 100 watts, that's a 500 watt light. Rated at 100 watts. Um, they actually pull a lot less electricity. So um, what I'm gonna do here is show you what one of the problems are with the light like this. So the idea is if you, if you fill this up with bulbs, and I'll put one in here for now, and you, you're on a set and you light it up, and you're, you know, you, you, the camera's here and you're shooting an interview and the light's up here and the crew is getting hit by the light. So it makes it a little bit harder to actually see what you're doing. And what you need to do is flag this off. Uh, presumably you could put barn doors on, on this light, but the way this light's shaped, it's round and it'd be kind of hard to do. So what I've come up with is a solution for that. And what I have, uh, what I've done is I take this head, which is it's lightweight, it's made of plastic. Oh, and by the way, it only costs seventeen dollars at Adorama, sixteen ninety-five. So it's really inexpensive. So this is basically a, I'm giving you, a, getting you an LED light for under a hundred hours. So you go to a, a Staples or or uh, uh, Walmart, and you buy one of these notebooks. It's a plastic, kind of a thin plastic notebook. And take it apart and cut it. I'll do this real quick, but. You're gonna cut two of these about this size. And what you're gonna do is attach it to this, this head but the, the way we're attaching it, when you're gonna use the length here, okay, we're gonna attach it, wrap it around the light, but we're gonna use snaps. And in the hardware stores like Lowe's, you can buy a snap with a little uh, uh, screw on the end. You're gonna drill four holes in this head, one at the bottom, one at the top on the one side of the center, another one on the other side of the center, another one in the, in the bottom on this side. And you're gonna take this plastic cover and you're gonna actually cut it on an angle like this so that it'll actually fit from the top of the light down to the bottom of the light. You can't wrap it around because of, this, of the mount here and the AC plug is here, okay? So you can only wrap it from here, from here to here, okay? So you gotta do it in two pieces. And because of the way this is shaped, it's gonna flare out, which is what you want. It's gonna flare out away from the light because the bulbs, you know, kind of spread out a little bit here so that it'll flare out and there's plenty, plenty of room for the bulbs inside this uh, barn door 
flag that we're putting on here, okay? Now I've got a light, I'm actually being lit by one of these lights and I'm gonna take it apart here in a minute and I'll show it to you. Um, the snaps, there's two kinds of snaps, okay? There's the snap with the screw in it for the head and then you need to get a regular snap that you might use in clothing, um, a male and a female, okay, a male and a female snap, and you're going to put these snaps on the flag, okay, but these kind of snaps you'll probably buy in a um, fabric store, okay, um, so I'll get the other light and we'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so here's the light that I'm trying to create here for everybody and uh, with the flags on it. And you can see when I turn this on, when we turn it, there the light's flagged off. Okay, and it's a little bit more directional. It's not gonna light up the ceiling or anything. Uh, so, okay, and it's, it comes apart really easily, just unsnap it. You can see that four snaps and two on the top, one on each side. So, and that's it. This light has a nice little handle on it. The sockets are ceramic, so it's pretty good light. It is plastic, so you know you don't want to bang it around too much. But this has been on for a little while, and it's it's a little, the bulbs are a little bit warm, but you can still touch them. Okay, and it's not so hot that it's going to melt. It's going to melt the plastic or anything like that. So. That's it. And what I'm going to do is I'll put this back up on the stand, take the other one down, and we'll drill a couple of holes and put it all together. So we're going to work on this light. One more thing I had to mention real quick. Um, if you want a little bit more punch out of the light, you can get these LED spotlights, which are a little bit, have a little bit more. Put, them, put one in the center. And when you turn it on, you can get a little bit more punch, a little bit more throw out of the light. But these are a little bit heavier, and I would only use one. But if you use more, you're just, it's not good. This is better, I think. And it's also softer light. Just mark the one spot here and one spot there. Okay, so hold on a second here. All right, we'll take the snap, get it started, just screw it in. There we go, we've got two snaps on top of the light. Okay, so that's the snap will go there. Put a little hole in here with the drill. All 
Here we go. Gotta give it one more little whack here. A little tighter. Okay, so we got the first. flag up on this light and there it is and then we're going to do the other side and then we'll do one that wraps around the bottom so here's the finished light on a stand and there it is and just to reiterate there's a piece that's wrapped around the bottom here that's the, there's three pieces Two on the top and one on the bottom. Okay, that's it. And here it is, the Edison LED light for under a hundred bucks.